Hi guys. Let me turn this off. Is that better? Okay. So, this is my guest bathroom. Um, I wanted to do this in my studio, but this hasn't come in yet. My nail course is coming in tomorrow instead. So this is the guest bathroom. This is where I normally do my makeup anyways. I am doing a sweep bun right now, which if you watch my Insta stories, you'll know I'm obsessed with. This is like the best way to not have to wash your hair all the time. And you can sleep on it when you do this, and it won't ruin your hair in the morning. Just a little bun like that, but you have to have a little alligator clip. Okay, so this is what I do every day when I want like an all-natural, quick beauty look. There we go. Yeah, so that's good. All right, so I have on my skin already. Um, vitamin C serum. Hi, Bubba. That's my dog. Moisturizer and then a eye balm. I use eye balm all day, every day to have super dry skin. Okay, this is the best stuff. It's called Unseen Sunscreen. And it's an SPF 40. It also guards you from blue rays, which in the same days are super vital that you guard your skin from. It's from your phones, iPads, TV, all of that stuff. Put them in front of my phone all day. Plus, this SPF 40 is a primer. It's amazing. It's the best primer I've found that also has SPF in it and that guards from the blue rays. It is a 4 on the EWG scale, so it's not like 100% all natural. EWG stands for the Environmental Working Group, and they have a call this program, it's called the Skin Deep Program, and you can check all of your um, products on there to see how natural they are. This is a four. Um, four is like the highest I go up to, ten is the worst, one is the best. This is the best, it's by Super Goop. Highly recommend it. I've already curled my lashes. So now that I have, hi guys, now that I have my primer on, I'm ready to go with my eyes, which is the death of me, my under eyes. So I have my beauty blender, for course I have a black one. It is moist, you get it under water, wring it out, you don't need to re-wring it out in a paper towel. A lot of beauty bloggers do it, it drives me crazy because it's so wasteful. So this is the Becca Under Eye Brightening. This is the one product that is not completely all natural, um, but it is cruelty free, it's sulfate paraben free, and I haven't found anything better that works, so, you know, when it comes to being eco-friendly, I just say, just do as much as you can, my sister's going to kill me for saying that, she sells beauty counter and she's like really specific about it, which is good, but if you guys know of any products that do this to your under eyes, let me know, because I need it so bad. You just do this. This is really good for blue circles. My skin is really thin around here, so I need a lot of it, and it's just like the one product that really helps. Here we go. You see a difference already. Okay. Now, after you do that, I love this beauty cream for every day. It's by Beauty Counter, which is completely non-toxic. This is called the Dew Skin, let me see, and it is in color light, I think, number two. So I put it on the back of my hand. I like to apply BB cream with my fingers. If I was using a full foundation, I would use the Beauty Blender. Um, another thing that I see a lot online are people being so aggressive with their skin when they apply products, especially under your eyes. I've still been major beauty bloggers that are showing you how to apply this, and they're like, Mee! which is, gives me like heart attack every time. So just be gentle. You can still blend it in without giving yourself wrinkles. I love this stuff. It's really good if you dry skin like me. If you have oily skin, I would do more of a powder foundation. Because this really does give your skin like a dewy, glowy look. 
which I like for every day, but again, I have super dry skin. So dry, it's like obnoxious. Also, always get your neck. Um, even if you're doing a BB cream, always get your neck. You just want it to match. Even if it's like the glow part, you want everything to match. That's like another one of my pet peeves when people don't see their neck. Plus, I have so many neck wrinkles, like the more cover up, the better. <laughs> Let me know if you guys have any questions. This is not great lighting, sorry. Next time it'll be better. And then I always double up a little bit where I need it. Under your eyes, pat, pat, pat. It's all about the blend, even if you're doing it really quickly. Okay, done with that. Also, I'll be, sorry my bra keeps going. Um, I'll be putting all the links for the products underneath once I post a live video afterwards for you guys. All right, I'm gonna try to do this like kind of a close. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil. The reason I love this one, this is in, it's a brow is. This one's called Soft Brown. Of course it's broken, it's real life. So you wanna go in like tiny strokes that replicate your eyebrow hair. And the reason I love Anastasia is because it's gentle. Like I use other eyebrow pencils that literally pull out my brow hairs, which we all know is the worst. Like you want as many brow hairs with as close to be as possible. So I do like a heavy hand and then I blend. Anastasia is also cruelty free. It's made in the United States. It's actually made in here in Beverly Hills, I think. And then you always want to brush up. Brush those brows up. And yep, my brows have life. Alright. Let me know if you have questions, guys. You've never touched your eyebrows? Oh my god, girl. You're so cute. I mean, maybe you don't need to, you know? I just have lace and eyebrows because I'm super blonde. Yeah, see? You're lucky you never had to. Good for you. Well, Kate will be skipping this step. Okay. Get elevated up. You want to give yourself like a little bit of an arch too. I always have to do even more on the sides. And some lace in there. I've really been wanting to get microbladed which would alleviate all of this. So yeah, I give myself an arch right there. Okay. Going to brush one more time. And then the best trick for daytime, because you do want your hair to stay in place, is do like a little balm over what you just did. I love the Honest Beauty Balm. So good. You can put this um, on your cuticles, on your lips. I always put them, just pat it on my eyebrows. Gives it a little glow, stays in place. Yeah, see, Kate agrees. People do the neck, do the neck, even if it's a beauty cream. It's so weird looking at people when their skin tones are different from their neck to their face. Okay. Now I take my RMS on cover up. Oh, yay! Hi, Mary Bear. Mary's my best friend in Chicago. She said she put me on the big screen. Uh oh, makeup free. Okay, so I take the on cover up. Hi, Ty, you guys making dinner? and put my beauty blender in there. And then I do the T-zone really quickly. I have a lot of freckles, so I like to cover them up a little bit. Oh, go Cubs, Mary, you'll love Kate. So I do my T-zone, this brightens things up a little bit. I have a gnarly sunspot right there, so I like to get a lot right there. You wanna be here, up into a T on your forehead. Right here, your Cupid's bow, and then this is a spot that a lot of people forget around your mouth right here in the corner. That's always darker. Let me get that really quick. This is a great cover up for doing this. And then your chin. Oh, Mary's about to make homemade pizzas. Lucky. Best side, bestie. Okay. Around your nose. Good to go. Now, I usually take my finger and do the corners of my eyes. When you're using a concealer that isn't completely liquid, it's good to do it with your fingers gently by tapping because the heat from your hand will kind of warm up your concealer and melt it into your skin. Sorry if I'm going off the camera here. 
I always need a lot more on my corners. Okay. Pretty good. It's kind of hard when you have nails. Okay. Then, I love Beauty Connor's, what is this called? The Touch Up Skin Concealer Pen. This is in light. There it is. Sorry, guys. There's so much light. Oh, he's getting airport food. Okay, so this is also non-toxic by Beauty Counter. It's um, a quick pen. I'm clicking it. And what I use this for is my under eyes. You always want to do a V. Super light, then you blend it in. The reason I do this one is because I have the craziest texture underneath my eyes. I hate it. Um, it's like the death of me. But I'm working really hard with my doctor, Dr. Champagne. We're doing lasers right now to try to correct it. Uh, but because it's such a texture, I have to go really light with the concealer and powder. Otherwise, you can see it and it looks even worse. So I just lightly tap, tap, tap. I always do a lot of them. But it's a really good product. And you can also use this concealer pen to do your T-zone. Like I just did with the other cover up. Also gives you like a little light glow. Do you have any more questions? Hi, I hope you're um, paying close attention over here. Hey, are you coming to LA? Where are you going? Okay. So that's good. And then the next step that I always do is a setting mist. This is the Plumping Teeny. If you have seen my YouTube channel before, you know I love this product also by Beauty Counter. Nice, Kay. Have fun in Portland. This is how I set my makeup. I do it all throughout my makeup routine. Instead of a, like a translucent powder, because I have such dry skin and because of this texture, I go with a mist instead to set it. You can't see like the cracks in my face. Um, I do that multiple times. All right. So then it's time for bronzer. <laughs> Bye. Okay, this is the RMS Contour Bronze. I like it for every day as opposed to a powder because it's more of a light, like sun-kissed look. So I just go in it. And then I do here. You want to go in a three in your face, so like this. Literally a three. And this is a really good, this is a really good product, especially for summer when it's coming up. All natural, RMS is all natural. I like a lot of their products too. Okay. There's my teeth, and I need to cover up these two blemishes. Now I have to take testosterone because I have like a vapor. Oh, oh wait, so up here, this is how you make your forehead look a little smaller, which I always need. You just do like your up here and like blend it down. Super important for me. Okay, now I have the cheekbones. Then I go ahead with my beauty blender. It's still moist. This is the Jane Iredell Powder Foundation. If you have dry or oily skin, this would be a great alternative to a BB cream or a liquid foundation. But this is so cute, all natural. Even the container is recyclable. I love Jane Iredell. She's so good. This color is the Golden Glow, I think it's called. And I love this because since it is golden, it will cancel out your blue under eyes. So this is what I use in the corners for added coverage. You can do this over your whole face um, if you want to, if you don't want that much of a glow. I apply it with a beauty blender because I just think it looks better on my skin as opposed to a brush. But just make sure your beauty blender is filling up. And I do like a little bit down here, put a little bit more. Okay, now I do use a brush this is what's so great about this um, foundation. So why it's so amazing. It works so well for covering up blemishes. You don't even need another concealer. So I just use a concealer brush and I am patting it in. 
So yeah, the freaking testosterone that I've been taking has been making my skin, I have like a beard of acne at times now, it's like I'm pregnant, I'm not pregnant, but it um gives me acne like I am, so that's fun, you guys. Look at that. I love this stuff. This is my, like one of my go-to products that I just can't live without. Okay. Now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna, oh, I need to do this. Yeah, right? The worst. I have a little scar right there. I'm gonna do that. All right, when I get hairs on my face that stick in there from Jay shaving, and it gets all over my stuff, Jay, I hope you're watching, uh, I get it with a little tweezer so I don't mess up my makeup. All right, I'm gonna set it one more time. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do my this first. This is also Becca. This is a guilty pleasure. Not the one that isn't really um, organic, but it's a highlighter. And the best thing about it, you just put it here, blend it up through your temples, on your cheekbones. I always have a glow, even if I'm going to the airport. Okay, just kidding. Do a little bit on your nose. You can use a smaller brush for this if you want up here, but I don't because I'm always in a hurry. Make sure you get your cupid spout, but I do a lot of it because I like like a a healthy amount. Then I'm going to just do lashes and I'm done. So lashes, I love, I'm obsessed with this. It's the Beauty Counter Mascara. There's lengthening and volumizing. I really cannot see it, it's like not focusing, sorry. This is, this is a lengthening mascara. No leggings are cute at the airport, Kate. Okay, this Beauty Counter Mascara, it doesn't clump. It doesn't fall off your lashes, like flake off, which is my pet peeve about mascaras. And if you want to, you can double up the lengthening and the volumizing. I love the, the lengthening though. It just does the trick. Sometimes I will put on falsies. Oh, this is Beauty Counter, the mascara. I'll put all the links below so you guys can have a look-see. But this is the best mascara. And oh my god, Beauty Counter has the best eye makeup removal. It, oh shit, it's my other bathroom. But it is all natural and it takes off even like falsy glue. And it's so gentle and it doesn't give your eyes um, like bumps or anything down here like other ones can. I used to use coconut oil, but by the way, you should never use coconut oil on your face, FYI, because you know how it like gets hard in the jar when it's cold? It does it on your face also, and it can clog your pores. So I like the Beauty Counter Makeup Remover. Then the final step is the mist again. I like one more lip gloss. This is the best lip gloss ever. It's Rosebud Salt. I have it everywhere. No, they don't break off my real ones. I'll show you what I use. I should do a tutorial on this. These are just from the, from Rite Aid. They're the individual, the like clumps of three, and I apply them with tweezers with, this is the eyelash glue that you need because everything else is so toxic. It's by Tarte, it's called Tartus Pro. So I apply it with this and with, um, with tweezers. I know, but I'll do a tutorial on this. Um, it's, it's the best way to make your lashes look so real and not have like an entire strip. If you have three clumps of three just along the outside, it doesn't have to be perfect. They're so easy to apply and they don't irritate your skin or your skin, your eyes. All the other strips make my eyes so beet red. And then I figured out this way how to make it not beet red. Okay. I still see my scar and it's really bothering me. I'm just going to put this a little more. A little more. Thanks so much for tuning in, you guys. There. There we are, guys. That's it. All natural, dewy, ready for the day. There we go. Okay, have a safe flight. I can't talk. A safe flight. There we go.
thanks so much for tuning in you guys i love you let me know if you want any more live videos or have any more questions yeah that's it a nice gooey glow no it's the sleep bun it's this guy you have to get a crocodile clip kate said i wish her hair functioned like that just get a crocodile clip and you'll be good to go but i'll do a tutorial on that too it's super easy but it saves me You do not look like, I wish I looked like Blue Frost though when I took my hair down. That'd be way better. All right, guys. Thanks again. Have a good Thursday. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Mary and Kay, I know you're already subscribed. But thank you. I love you. And I'll see you on YouTube.